Dream King Films with the hitman, Jack Pyburn, the Hayden Schwartz of the Bulls Bulldogs. Hey, guys, terrific victory tonight over St. Augustine, 32-29. Real quick, y'all, just give me y'all thoughts on tonight's game. We'll start with you, Jack. Uh, I, th I thought the team came out and battled. You know, we had a lot of adversity in that game. We struggled doing a lot of things. Uh, they came out and had a good game plan. We were struggling, but at the end of the day, our team fought, and that's the true character of our team. The best thing I learned tonight is no matter what we're going through, no matter what adversity we face, our team can go through anything. We can bounce back, make the adjustments, be able to win the game. Obviously, we got to fix a lot of things with a long season ahead of us. Uh, we got to correct a lot of things on offense, on defense, be crisper, be sharper, but I love the way our guys fight, so that's the most important thing to me. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Schwartz. Well, I think we came out of the gate, you know, we weren't really prepared, and they were very well executed. Um, but we came together. I think as a team, this was like a big moment for us to grow. Um, and I think, you know, it was really actually exciting for us. It was a challenge, but we need those. And that helps us build our team character. And um, really overall, like they were a great team. They prepared and that first half, they showed that they prepared more, but we came out and we fought and we, we teamed together and it was awesome. Yes, yeah, sir. Speaking of a challenge, guys, Tyler, I'm sorry, Trayvon Durden, the quarterback for St. Augustine, mm -hmm. number two, he's a heck of a player as well as number 19 Lions. Yes. They gave y'all guys all y'all wanted tonight. Y'all mm -hmm. just talk about the challenge it took to uh, slow those guys down, if you could say that at all. Uh, they were hitting a lot of backside runs, so we had to make the adjustments and get our guys involved in the box. Um, they were hitting, increasing very well, getting blocks on our guys, and it was pretty frustrating, especially as you know, as a linebacker, and I know it's he on the backside, but, you know, once we figured out kind of what we were doing at halftime, we kind of adjusted to those things, started moving guys around, shifting things around, and we were able to kind of start quelling that and make them move away from that whole uh, C-gap kind of mindset. Yes, sir, Schwartz. Yeah, like, I mean, as far as running away, running strong side and being a weak side player, that did get kind of frustrating, but being able just to, as like a defensive line and linebacker group, just to make corrections, man, they, their running back, he was hard to tackle in the open field. Um, they were some really great athletes. We just made the adjustments, and you know, how's that? Yes, sir, guys. Y'all was flying around, smacking people all yeah, night, man. Y'all was y'all was unblockable, <laughs> man. Yes, we got the week, man. Can't nobody block y'all. Just talk about the job you did tonight on the defensive end, Jay. Uh, I mean, yeah. I think I do a good job using my hands and just being violent. I mean, the one thing I pride myself on, I've always pride myself on, is my just flying to the football and being violent and never giving up on plays. I can credit him to that as well. I mean, we. Both of us, we fly around and we give it our all and we don't stop. That's the one thing we got. Hey, you had a couple violent hits out there tonight, yes, man. Just, just talk about those hits you was laying out there tonight, Jay. Uh, you know, I, when I get those big hits, I get a little excited. You know, I start rowing the boat for Minnesota, you know, so it's it's exciting. I love it. It's, it's what I live for and it's what I play the game for is those exciting big hits and moments. So I just love being out there with my brothers and being able to ball. Yes, sir. Swartz, mm -hmm. they couldn't do nothing with you tonight. Just talk about your performance. Um, Man, I feel like just my game is being explosive on the inside and being able to work outside too. Um, started that, especially that second half, doing some five. That was a lot of fun using my hands. But man, I know I made some plays, but it's fun celebrating with my boys. They get those big hits. It's yes, so sir. sweet just being able, everybody to feed, like everybody to get some. And that's what I love about our team. You know, yeah. we really work as a team, and everybody gets plays, and we celebrate each other. So yes, sir. We yes, should have had uh, Trent in here too. He be oh, flying Trent. around, smacking oh, things goodness, as well. Y'all talk about some down, of those uh, big hits Trent had out there tonight. You know, I, I I told Trent the other day. I was like, hey man. When I'm gone, you're the, you're the one I'm passing the torch to. I mean, he's a sophomore, and he's been showing a lot of upside. And I'm just excited to keep working with him, keep mentoring him, and I'm going to make, make him my son. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> he going to keep no, and he, he just has a great work ethic, and he's a good kid. But on the football field, he's just violent. Comes down full speed. And, man, like those hit like the one he had on the sideline, everybody was so hyped for that. It's just it's exciting to see a young guy really, you know, just kind of get the click. Like, just fly around. It was awesome. Yes, sir, guys. Yes, Cade Fru, he balled out tonight. 200 yards, resting three touchdowns. Yes, Talk sir. about your playmaking, the job he did. Cade comes out every game with the ball. I mean, that kid is – I mean, it's hard oversized. He doesn't matter. He plays like he's 6'1", 210 pounds. I mean, he is violent. He's fast. I mean, he's just a great athlete, a great baller, and a good dude. And he's a great leader. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, he's a great leader. And, like, really how I see him is his work ethic. He just keeps going – keep pounding inside no matter how many times he gets hit he just keeps on like the, his his motor is insane and so it's just it's awesome to see him how he works and even off the field just what a good leader he is he leads by example and i don't know i'm just really fired up for him yes sir guys let's go to the uh, bottom of the fourth quarter k put the ball on the ground gay st augustine new life but y'all closed that out for bows just talk about that moment and, and the job y'all did stepping up um as soon as i walked out on the field i pulled the entire defense together i said boys it doesn't matter what happened in this game, what we gave up, what we messed up. This is our defining moment, and this is what matters right here. So we flushed it. We came together as a group. We flew around. We made the plays we needed to make, and we executed to finish out the game. Yes, sir. And, yeah, especially, like, that was a big moment. We had to get that stop, you know, just to snuff out whatever momentum they had going. And 
that's when like great teams like that's when they show that they've actually prepared and we we stepped up even though we had struggles first half especially that those last couple plays of the game we really stepped up as a defense and i think you know just as a team we just we did pretty well. How y'all feel like the O line did tonight, guys? O line did. O line did. I great. feel like the O line got some push. They needed, yeah. you know, obviously. I feel like the entire team we needed to crisp up on our assignments. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's bottom line. No matter what we messed up or what we did right, our team knows how to fight, and mm -hmm. we're a brotherhood. We always have each other's back, and that's what makes our team special, and that's what's going to carry us on. Yes, sir. Hey guys, thanks for talking with me. Yes, Good sir. luck to y'all future. Yes, sir. Appreciate Thank you. you.